Good evening and once again welcome to my YouTube channel Pearson Edexel International Maths by Mr. Moto. And um, in this video I want to explain something in pure mathematics 4 and uh, in chapter number 4 binomial expansion. And I would want to extensively explain something on page 33 that is under example 3. And this question is asking us to find the expansion of this function up to and including the term in x cubed and then part b by substituting then we will proceed. Uh, before we continue, kindly go to my YouTube channel, subscribe and share widely so that we can work together. Now, um, part A, we are talking of uh, the root of 1 minus 2x ordinarily does not have a clear index. But this is not a problem because we can be able to write it in terms of 1 minus 2x raised to power a half. And this one is another way of talking about the root of any number. And therefore, using the expansion of 1 uh, plus nx plus n, uh, n minus 1, x squared over 2 factorial plus n, n minus 1, n minus 2, x cubed over plus n, n minus 1, n minus 2, x cubed over 3 factorial. Moving forward, you can already see that our n is a half. And in the place of x, our x, we are going to look at negative 2x the whole of that is sitting in place of x so therefore expansion of this nature is going to be 1 uh, plus a half multiplied by x which is minus 2x plus n which is a half a half minus 1 then minus 2x which is x squared everything over 2 factorial of course plus a half that is n n minus 1 n minus 2 x cubed of course over over 3 factorial so what we need to do is to just clean up the whole thing and um, come up with uh, 1 remains 1. A half times minus 2 is a negative 1, of course, minus x. So in this case, you're going to have a half times minus a half because this half multiplied by a half minus one which is minus a half of course multiplied by minus two squared is four four divide or times a quarter four times a quarter becomes um becomes becomes a one because basically what we're saying is that minus two squared is a four times a half is going to be uh, plus a half minus a half because of a half minus one of course times times four because of minus two squared is four uh, now we have x squared everything over two factorial two factorial is going to be two times one which is simply two and the other one is going to be uh, let's talk about a half this is now term uh, multiplied by minus a half because of n minus 1 
and a half minus 2 becomes minus 3 over 2 which is minus uh, minus um, uh, minus 1 and a half negative 1 and a half and of course minus 2 cubed becomes minus 8 and then we have x cubed over 3 factorial meaning 3 times 2 times 1 now what we need to do is to simply um, now clean up this this is 1 minus x, a half times minus a half is minus a quarter, times 4, which is minus 1, times x squared becomes minus x squared over 2. And that is the third term. And therefore, what we have now is the third term, which is going to contain x cubed, a half times minus a half, um, times minus 3 over 2 times 8. Let's just do this. All this is going to be 1 times minus 1 times minus 3, that is 3. 3 times minus 8, that is, um, uh, that is um, uh, 24 all over 2 times 2 times 2, which is 8. Uh, that is 8 and, and of course now uh, at that particular point we're going to 328 this is x cubed everything over, over over 6 because of 3 factorial is over 6 but let us first of all have this uh, is going to be 1 minus x minus x squared over 2 24 over 8 is 3 but of course, it's going to be a negative. This is negative because of this is plus. And then times minus 8 maintains its negativity. So minus 3x squared now divide by 6. And what we have as the final submission is 1 minus x uh, minus x squared over 2. Uh, minus of course by 3 1 by 3 2 so minus x cubed x cubed over 2 and in moving forward you can continue if you want but the question expected us to expand up to and including the term with x cubed and that is exactly what we have done so that's the end of the story and of course for that particular mo uh, point that is expansion I, but i want us to explain part b of the same and part b says by substituting in x is equals to 0 0.01 find a decimal approximation to root 2 substituting x is equals 0 0.01 find an estimate of find an estimate of root 2. This is something new and I would want to just explain extensively and let's see what happens here. That means in the whole expansion, wherever we come across x, we write 0 0.01. So initially we had the root of 1 minus 2, 0 0.01 which is equals to, it has been expanded to 1 minus 0 0.01, this is x, uh, minus 0 0.01 squared over 2, minus 0 0.01 cubed over 2, and this is just like it. So using a calculator, we realize that the left hand side gives us a um, it gives us the root of 0 0.98 which is equals to this remains 1 minus 0 0.01 uh, I don't know what is supposed to be uh, let's see what happens here let's see what happens here 0 0.01 squared uh, divided by 2 becomes 0. Uh, minus 0 
zero 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 five yes four zeros and then minus zero point zero one uh, cubed divide by two we get um, minus zero point one two three four five six seven that is it so at the end of the day if you do all this you get think you're going to get root of 0 0.98 is going to be equals to um, uh, this minus this minus this minus this is going to be 0 0.989495 but the question is find root 2 and incidentally it is our business to know how we get root 2 from the whole of this arrangement but if you look at this it looks like something that can that can be manipulated and it's going to be uh, 0 0.98 can be written as 98 out of 100 and this is exactly what we are going to bank on so the root of 98 out of 100 is 0 0.989 moving forward so concentrating on this we have the root of 49 times the root of 2 all over 10 and this is going to be because the root of 100 is 10 the root of 49 times the root of 2 all over 10 because um, the root of 100 is 10 and the root of 49 is 7 is going to be 7 root 2 all over 10 is equals to 0 0.989 uh, 0.989495 fine at least now we can make root 2 the subject of the formula directly our root 2 is 0 0.989495 times 10 all over 7 let's find out what this is um, yes 0. 9899 um, uh, 495 495 times 10 of course we get that divided by 7 then we get 1.41 we get 1.4142 of course if you can move forward you will get uh, you, if you want to write the whole all the digits four two one three five seven one but of course if the question is quite uh, giving you special instructions like to three decimal places or to two significant figures or to whatever then you can get your answer from there fine that is it and uh, according to our arrangement please follow and make sure you understand this and uh, the key point is how we get now the root two from the root of 98 the root of 0 0.98 and because we have applied the SADS this one we have applied SADS the knowledge of SADS and we have actually borrowed heavily from 98 over 100 so please make sure that you don't lose that focus that is very critical all right again go to my youtube channel subscribe and let us work together all right.